the Lord has done. Can you see what the Lord has done? What we waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. On your wedding day, you're going to sing that. Can you see what the Lord has done? When you walk into that property, can you see what the Lord has done? When that healing happens, what we've been praying for, He has brought to pass. See what the Lord has done. Kwa kila mwenye tu wali hapa mahali Hata wadada lapo ilamu kwa wana upi 
kuishi tuseme na sauti ya mwanake kuna wajalo wapenda kutana mahitaji yote kila mmoja wetu kutana mahitaji yetu yote kwa majeshi pokeso na utukufu wa totote wetu damu yako Mungu apika watawala wazee na wadogo na wanana damu yako katawala viongozi wetu wote damu yako katawala mshirika wote mwanzo hadi mwisho damu yako katawala equipments damu yako katawala bana majeshi hata wana wacheze equipments damu yako katawala hata Mungu wa video coverage na photography damu yako katawala mtawala kile katika jina kwa Yesu Kristo kila mmoja wetu tulipoa wetu bwana majeshi toomba damu yako ikatawale jamii zetu zote damu yako ikatawale ni wakiwango ni vile mapepo na marao na aina yote ya hofu na pingamizi ya kila aina na inaweza kujiinua vile mapenzi yako damu yako Yesu Kristo ikatawale kwenye ardhi kwenye anga kwenye baharini pokea sifa na utukufu kipindi cha session kipindi cha praise and worship kipindi chote ambacho hudhuria bwana majeshi tukukaribisha Mungu baba Yesu Kristo na Mungu wa mtakatifu damu yako Yesu Kristo nikatawale pokea sifa na utukufu kwa kushukuru kwa macho yako na tunakupenda tusema na sauti yangu pamoja nasi hadi kile tutashika wa siku ya leo bwana majeshi damu yako ikatawale upako wako kashuke maadufu upako wako kashuke maadufu aweza tukajina kwa Yesu Kristo
mna nitakubariki na nitauzidisha usawa wako kama nyota ya ngani na kama mchana uliopo pwani waza wako watamiliki miti ya aliizao sema amen waza wetu our first second and third and fourth generation shall possess the enemy's gates you and I have to possess our enemy's gates ya kama sutu chukile mahali na kato wa kalani moja hatubarikia hatu soli hatu find chuchu
unajua kuna sayari kuna upepo na moro na hata atawala pia angali wakati wenye wakati wenye unamtumisha Mwenyezi Mungu alipokuwa anatazama Mwenyezi Mungu akambariki inasemekana kwamba kuna malaika shetani alishikilia baraka zake juu anaitwa nani acha mtumishi wa Mwenyezi Mungu aliyekuwa baraka zake ndio amezechelea zikashika matendo akamchilia malaika wa eh, eh, Mikaya anaitwa nani Daniel so papa sut unto heaven Zaburi 121:21 inasema kwamba Daudi akasema Sir you shall not smite me by day nor you shall not smite me by night Joshua chapter 13 pia akafanya vita akasema Sir and Lord I command you to stand still and be a receiver for all my enemies Smile now pia kama kwenye hewa Tell us and Sir I command you according to Joshua I command Amen. Kwa hivyo hizo ndio start the one with the 
eh, hiyo kwanza yenye pastor Muto amekalia alafu hiyo ya pili alafu hiyo ya tatu kuna wageni tunahesabia kitu kama 28 praise the lord kwa hivyo hizo viti kwa heshima zikae bila mtu bila mtu bila mtu kwa heshima kwa heshima kwa heshima you can go if you are seated on the third row Or read the word of God. It has got an effect 
that that lay, that lays on the earth, and it changes the whole scenario. Unaputa kwamba, the whole place is free, everything is uh, green, everything has changed. It's the same thing with the word of God in our life. So the word of God, when you need it, it lands in your heart. And your heart is the soil. So the word, when it lands on you, after reading it, it has to change you one way or another. And you might not realize it. You might not know it. But you only see the changes that are coming in your life. And you start to wonder. Nini minafajika? Kwa mambo ya manibadilika katika waisha yani. Na mimi siyeleu. Labda nilikuwa na mambo ya nafajika. Na nikaoba hili neno. Kulingana hile nimesoma. Na nikaipicha katika mwewangu. Na nikarinena katika season zangu. Maybe it's a mountain in your life. Then you find things are changing. It's not because of your will. It's because the word of God is living. Neno na mungu ni na uhai. Ni na leta uhai kama vile mkua. Una leta uhai kwa mumea. Una leta uhai kwa kila peyu. Ambalo imeanguka chini ya mchana. Ama ikodani ya mchana. Hivyo ni hivyo hivyo kama vile our hearts are. As we read the word of God, maybe ignorant, bila hata sisi ya kuwelei, tunashikuwa bibiria tunatoma neno wa mungu, na hino neno linakaa dani ya mwetu. Beku wakati mbua inayesha under the Holy Spirit, linaaza kufanya hiyo neno liro katika mwe wako, linaaza kubadilisha maisha hako. Na we uwelei, nini ninafanyika? Unaona mabadiliko, na haya mabadiliko, watu vya wataza kuona na waseme na hakika yule mtu anamjua huyu mungu wa baa na mungu anamawagubu now let's continue let us read Isaiah 55 verse 11 
to declare the word of God. That is God sending his word. But you yourself, when you are reading it, you don't understand what God, what was the desire of God, what was the purpose of God in writing that word like that. So when you open your mouth and you declare that I will not die, but I will, I will be alive to declare the goodness of our God. Exactly that is what it is going to accomplish in your life. But if you don't speak it, if you don't say it will have no effect in your life, it's just like salvation. It's just like salvation. The Bible declares in Romans chapter 10, verse. The, the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 9, I think. Uh -huh. From verse 8. But what does it say? The word is near you, it is in your mouth, is it, it is in your heart. That is the word of faith we are proclaiming. That's if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and justify. And it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. That is what the word of God, the word of God does. Now, the word, the, Bible, the, the word of God, the, the word of God declares that the word of God is near you, is in your mouth, or is in your, is in your heart. What you do is you just believe in the heart, in the heart. Just believe it, then the Bible says that you are justified. Then by confessing the same word, the Bible says the moment you confess, you become born again. Because that is the purpose of the word of God. And that is what God wanted you to be. If you don't believe and you start from there, you don't confess, there is no salvation in your life. Because the word of God has to be accomplished. You have to do what? You have to believe in your heart so that you are justified. You are made just before God. Then if you stop there, there is no salvation. But if you do the second step and you confess using your mouth, the Bible declares that you are born again, that you are saved. That is how the word of God. That is the principle of the kingdom. If you don't accomplish that, then you already be saved. You cannot tell people that you are not, you are not that you are born again. And that's when you when you call people for the out of all, that we tell them to repeat what we are saying. So when they repeat and will fulfill all the principles of the kingdom. God has no otherwise. He has to accept that person as been born again. Because that is what he says. That he has to believe. A person has to believe. After believing by hearing the word, then he tell him, can you confess that you are born again? Then he confess that he is born again. And that one makes him to be born again in the kingdom of God. Kingdom of God. In the kingdom of heaven. So that is how the word of God is. Now, Number five, uh, chapter, uh, Psalms 119, verse 9. The Bible declares that, that it, decree, it decrees our ways. In our shop, Giaveto, our ways, it decrees our ways. Psalms, Psalms 119. If you go to Psalms 119, Psalms 119, verse, verse 9. Verse, he talks of, the Bible talks of this young man. He says this, how can a young man keep his way pure? He's addressing the young people. How can a young man keep his way Way pure by living according to your heart. So, purity in young people comes from it comes from 
living according to the world. If you want to be pure in your life, whether you are young or old, you want to be pure. The only solution is to live through the word of God. How do you live by the word of God? Is by reading the word of God or hearing the word of God or meditating upon it. That one makes your life pure. But when you are reading or hearing or doing anything, you don't know what the word is saying. It is making you to be clean. Clean in a way that when you go before God, because you have, uh, you have dwelt with the word, it is making you pure, but you don't know. But when you go before God, when he looks, he looks at you, he knows that you are pure. Because you have believed, you have heard the word of God, you have been living after the word of God. And therefore the word is, the word is making you pure before him. The Bible declares, Blessed are the those who, blessed are the pure in heart. For they will do what? They will see God. So, do you want to see God? Live, live according to the word of God. That is my reading it, meditating upon it, and therefore the word itself does its work without your knowledge, it makes you pure before God. So when you go before God, when you want to pray God, when you want to consult God, and you have been living as a father word, God looks at you and he sees a pure person before him. But you don't know that that's what the word was doing to you. But this is the one that God has, has, has created. That whatever he has created it to do, it will do according to his desire and his purpose. Then, number B is in Romans chapter 10, verse 7, verse 19. It produces faith. It produces faith. Because if the, if the, if, if the one himself, the Bible, the, the God himself says that, that without faith, you cannot, you cannot praise God. Faith itself makes you not to praise God. If you are born again and you are not able to praise God, but the only you need to know the principles of the kingdom that if I want to praise God, I must have faith. Where do you get faith? Where does faith come from? The Bible declares faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So, what is now my problem of not having faith? Because I'm not hearing the word of God. Reading the word of God. Meditating about the word of God. Because the moment I get the word and I read it, what happens? My heart develops faith. Faith is developed within me. And therefore, I'm able to praise God. When I go before God, I'm able to praise Him because I've got the Word. The Word is God. is Word in me. So we need the Word to give us faith. And that faith will also make us to praise God. Because God, the Bible declares, he, you cannot praise God if you don't have faith. But for Him to acquire this faith, it's so simple. It's not your worry how your faith is going to come. Just take the principles of the kingdom. Read the word of God. Don't ask, don't think what is it doing. Let you just read it. Make it a quality. Take time to read the word of God. Then what you will acquire is faith for the word. It's faith for your life. And that faith will make you praise your God, the heavenly Father. Therefore, when you can, he looks at you, he says, surely, this is my child. Because whatever he's speaking, he's speaking my language. Because you have to speak the language of God himself. And the language of God himself is faith. Hakina kitu utapata bila imani kwa mungu. Kila kitu ambao utapata unako oba. Yote jinazi maiwe katika hali ya imani. Ya imani. Uko na mgojo. Uko na mtu wako na shida. Uko na mtoto wako na shida. Oba ukitumia neno. Na mungu anakalia hilo neno. Na naona mtoto wako. Aliku wake. Alio na ima. Na ima. Mbasi ya na mwakalia na sema. Mtoto wangu. Anaede wangu bayani. Na basi. Nini mitamfanya. Nini misinisikie. Nisha misikia. Kwa sababu ni speaking my language. 
And that language is the language of faith. The Bible declares we don't walk by sight. We walk by faith. Because most Christians, it's those who walk by sight. They want to see so that they can believe God can do, can do something for them. But the moment you act on a thing that you don't have, you cannot touch. But you have faith that God will do. That is the right way to that God understands. And he from there, ataweza kutembea na wewe. Na kijua kwamba huu ni mtoto wangu ambao anayelewa. Anajua kwamba mimi huelewa ruba ya ilahi. Lakini wakati unatembea na neno na kwamba unataka kuona chamu. Like, let us, let us uh, take an example. I want to pray for God to give me something. But maybe I've got a short thing. Maybe I've got a short thing. Maybe I've got a short thing. Maybe because if I'm thinking as I pray that he's gonna do, I'm a daughter, I'm gonna pay her, 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 i am because you can see that brother, you can see the money in him, and therefore you believe in that money, and immediately you go before God, you pray, God is going to give you because that brother has got money. Believe, Mungu anataka wakati, you have reached your end. Huna wezo mungine, unamwabia Mungu, sina mungine wa kutegemea, bali mwewe tu peke yake. Akiona yo, 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 that talks that type of a heart. That is when he moves. Now, we are here most of the times that when we ask God for something, when we have no eternity, that is when God comes. That is when God comes. Na anafanya mamo. Anafanya mamo katika maisha yetu. Rakini shida ni hii. Although we are born again, we are Christian, we still go to the sight, the things that we can see, and we have, we believe that then God can do, can move on our behalf. But, an attacker to a kwamba hakuna kitu kumejishikiria, hapa tu wana move. And try, and I know some people have tried that, and they have seen wow, what it was. Number, uh, number C, begins as a process of change, and our minds come in harmony with God's and thoughts and purposes for our lives. That is Psalms, 7, Psalms 19, verse, verse 7. Then number, okay, let us see, see number D, which is brings peace that we can obtain in no other way. It, the word of God brings peace that we cannot obtain Psalms 119, verse 165, and Philippians chapter 4, verse 7, Isaiah 55, verse 8. Maybe you can read one of it. Because reading the word of God means us have faith, and that faith, uh, it helps us. Uh, uh, one, one, uh, one and two, verse, verse 105. One nineteen verse one oh five. Yeah, one oh five, one one sixty five, not one oh five. One sixty five. And it says this Psalms one nineteen verse one sixty five, it says, Great peace have they who land the alone. And nothing can make them stop.
Great peace have they who love your own and nothing can, can make them stop. Ile, ile amani tunapata kutokana na nena wa mungu. Wakati tunalisoma nena wa mungu, hizo sheria za mungu. Wakati tunazijua, tunakuwa na imani, na amani, yani peace ambao mtu mingine hawezi kupatia. Kuna mambo ya natutia katika maisha yetu. Lakini unakuta kwamba hatufanani katika hali ya kuchukua ama kuchukua jambo likija katika katika fahari. Unakuta kwa watu wengine e, mambo ya kija katika maisha yao. Wao wanaanguka na wanastuka sana. Na wana hawana amani. Lakini unakuta watu wengine hata jambo likiwa ngumu na mnalani because of the peace of God that is in their life. They are able to take things as they are. Because they believe God. And that peace that God has given them is the peace that the world cannot give. That is what Jesus told his disciples. That, 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 that the peace that I give you is not the peace that the world, the world gives. Because there is a peace that the world gives. But the peace that God gives, you cannot compare it with the world. And therefore I'm saying, that there are some things in our life they can come to us as a, as, as, a, as a congregation but you find some people have got more peace than others because they have God they have hidden that word in them and they believe in that God and therefore when that situation comes in their life they are able to hold unto that peace because that peace is due in their hearts and they are our tikiziki our tikiziki what's about the heart of the peace of God? We are going to number five. Is God's word complete itself, in itself? Never a mungu. Lilmekamilika. Kama vile nivyo. Is a sword in a reason. Is God's word complete in itself? God's word, both Old and New Testament, is totally complete in itself. That's what, what the Bible says. That God's word is complete. Haina jango lime. Ritina lime sema. Rita kimiza hivyo. Vile lime mena. Rita kimiza hivyo. It's complete. You cannot add. Neither can you subtract from the, from the word of God. If it says that you are healed. Hakuna vile lita sema. Lambda. Who bought you how to bond you? Mimi kama mungu si bond you. Nina bond you how to who? Lakini who si bond you? No. God's word is complete in itself. Whatever it says, it is that. And therefore it says, No one shall add to or diminish from the word of God. As in Deuteronomy chapter 12, Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 12, verse 32. It says, Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 32, it says, So that you do all my command, you. Do not add to it or take away from it. The word of God, you cannot add what it says, neither can you subtract anything from the word of God. Because the word of God in itself, God made it to be like that. And it is complete in all ways. It's, if it says that you are healed, that is how it is. That is the purpose of that word. If it say, I will leave, I will not die, but I will leave to declare the purpose of God. That is how the word of God is. It does not change, neither can you add to it, neither can you subtract it to it. That is how it is. Uh, we are warned of the consequences of adding to or taking from God's word, as in Revelation chapter 22, verse 19. 
go to Revelation, in the book of Revelation, chapter, chapter 22, chapter 22, verse 19. It says this in the book of Revelation, that was a, uh, is a revelation ni fulua wa Yohana aliko pata aliko kwa katika kisima cha Patmo and this was God told him and if anyone takes takes words away from this book of prophecy God will take away from him his share in the tree of life in the holy and in the holy city which are described in this book so you are not supposed to take or add to what the God, God purpose that word to me. You cannot add to it, neither can you subtract to it. That is what the Bible says. The Bible declares the Bible is perpetual, as in Matthew chapter, Matthew chapter 5. The Bible, the, the Bible, the, the Bible is perpetual. Matthew chapter five, verse eighteen. Matthew chapter five, verse eighteen. Verse eighteen. It says this. Matthew chapter five, verse eighteen. I tell you the truth, until heaven and earth disappear, not the smallest letter, not the least stroke of a pen will by any means disappear from the law until everything is accomplished. That gives us what, the, uh, what God says, that the word of God is complete in itself. So whatever we purpose, or whatever, why he sent it to us as the word of God is you have to complete it, his design and purpose in our life. So in Revelation, that is what he said, I tell you the truth until heaven and earth disappear, not the smallest letter, not the least stroke of pain, you by any means disappear from the room until everything is accomplished. That means what the Bible says, it is going to fulfill what God purposed. So when the earth and the heaven passes away, not even a letter, not even a comma in the word of God, it will have to fulfill before the air comes. Because that was the purpose of God of writing the Bible, the scriptures. It was for our use, it was for our purpose. It's for us to help us in our living in this world. Ni yeti ni saidiye katika dunia yeti tunapoishi. Ni kwa sababu unapo lisoma neno la mungu. Ni nakusaidia katika maisha ya. Ni nakusaidia katika mielendo ya. Ni nakusaidia katika mafikiriwa ya. Ni nakufanya uwe mukamilifu bere ya mungu. Kwa sababu ya neno la mungu. So you need to understand what is the purpose of God for giving us the scriptures, is to help us in our life, is to make us to live in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a way that we have got a purpose because of the word of God. We cannot live without the word of God. Neither can we succeed without the word of God. Neither can we do anything without the word of God. We need the word of God. It's complete as long as we are needing it. We are sitting upon it. It will work as per the purpose and the desires of God in our lives. And that's why the word was written and it was given in the form of a, a, a scriptures so that we can use it for our purpose. We are not born again just to be born again. We are born again that we can use the word of God because we are the children of God. So if we are the children of God, we have to pray like, to behave like our father. The one, our father, says that I pray that as our soul prospers, also our knowledge should prosper. That is the word of God. So if it is purpose for us to be like that, it's 
for you to appropriate that word on your life so that you can help him as you live in this world. Because there is no way you can live in this world and this world is not helping you in your life. Because that is why God has given us the Bible. That we need it, we petition upon it so that it can help us in this life. God has not purpose, purpose us. Did you know that? Because the Bible is saying so. What for me? If the word says that we are we are blessed, blessed are. Blessed are that you are in her, for they shall she go. Blessed are these people, for God will give you whatever they desire in their heart. That is the purpose of God. That is the purpose of the Bible. But if we don't appropriate the word of God in our lives, then there is a there is a problem in our life. Because how, how can we help? How can we get help from God himself? Because he has given us everything. He has given us the word so that we live as for the one. Then the one will prosper us. It will give us happiness. It will give us peace. But if you don't use this one as it is written in the Bible, it will never help you. That's why God has given us the word. That we use it for our purpose. That we use it, that we can perpetuate his kingdom. That we use it, that we can speak words unto other people and they will have life, they will have prosperity. I remember Apostle Paul when he talked about that this one, he has, he has taught people to be rich, but he himself was poor. And I was wondering, why was Paul saying so? That he has made so many people rich. But he himself was full. You see, he was saying, he had preaching, he had been preaching the word of God. Many people have taken that word and they have appropriated it in their heart and they have spoken it and it has made them prosper. Because they believe in that word. The main aim is for you to believe. There is no way apart from believing the word of God that you can prosper in your life, in your, in your, in your soul. In your help, in everything that you help us to get in this land, everything is in the Bible. Everything is in, is in the Bible. We have been given free. The Bible, the Bible declares, freely be, because you have been freely been given. Because you have been given freely. So, read the word of God. Talk it. Speak it. Let it, let it work in your life. Let it work in your children. Let it work in your, in, in, in your everyday life. Parents, fathers and mothers, we have been taught to speak blessings upon our children. And the moment you speak blessing upon your children, it doesn't matter whether, whether it is coming, you are seeing it because you don't walk by sight. You walk by faith. You always, you always see prosperity coming in your life. Then you are sure. This is what God is saying. So I thank God because this one is helping us in our life. It is guiding us in our life. God bless you. Because this one is helping us in every day to day life. But she doesn't need to kuna neno and is complete. To kuna kila kitu ambato mepatiwa na mungu. Mungu hata haja kupini kisha. Ame tupatia kila kitu kwa neno rake. Tuweze tu kusema tumeamini. Vile neno nimesema. Na hiyo itakuwa yetu. Nani tunaendelea na prosperity. Hell, prosperity in our health. Prosperity in everything. Because that is what has God has given us. But the only issue is, do you believe in God? Do you believe in God? Do you know God? The Bible declares, those who know they are God, the Bible declares they shall do exploits because of the knowing the knowing is knowing God Himself and His Word. What He says, then you are appropriated in your life. You cannot borrow from another person because He knows. He is born again and He will help you. God does not work like that. He wants you to use His Word, the Word of God. Talk to Him, speak it, let it do it in your life. Don't believe in other people to speak to you all the time. Let the Word of God, the Bible declares, let the word of God dwells in you richly. It dwells in you richly. 
When you say literally, is that you have read the word, you have meditated upon it, and immediately any situation comes in your life, you are able to address that situation because that word is hidden in your heart. So everything will be okay. But now, if you don't have, we don't hide the word of God in our heart. Because we always wait for the preacher to come and preach for to have the word of God. All these things. But you yourself, you don't sit down, meditate upon the word of God. What does God mean here? God is speaking to me. Then let that word appropriate be, be in your heart. Then at a time you speak it, it will do exactly what it was purposed by God Himself. In your life, not in any other person's life, in your life, it will come to pass. Because that was the, the design and the purpose of God for us to write or to give us the Bible so that He can help us as we live in this world. In God bless you. Santi. Praise the Lord. This is my job to begin. This is my to begin. To begin, we are to move my coffee. I feel that I'm going to go to the We can go to the We can go to the house. We can go to the house. We can go to the house. We can go Mbili zina mfinya kana pasuka kana ina. Basi, tupigie pana makofi.
and it's not easy. Everyone experiences it. But it's by the grace of the Lord that I believe everything is possible in our life. If you have it, show it. If you know how to preach, preach. If you know how to sing, sing. If you know how to design, design. If you have the prophecy, they are always ready to be sent. That's why that song will really touch to me. And I hope it does for you too during your circumstances. Because it's not easy. When you have so much responsibilities and so much expectations of yourself. Thank you so much. And uh, that's the end of the prison worship session. I hope you've been blessed. I've been blessed. And let's pray.
Son, Blessed and Father. And Lord, we pray that God, what you have given, will go more, even to do thy work, but Father, in thy kingdom. We thank you, blessed Lord, and Jesus, in our Savior, we pray. Amen. God, Nafasi Dotapewa Toto, presentation, Karibu Sana, Wanapotarisha, Bia Ninge Omba Wagelu, Wapitarisha, Tutapea Nafasi, Wapsalimina, Otto Shuda. I am Toto Karibuni.
la sanción de la pequeña más confirmación de la pequeña 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 de la Tukuni tu hapa mbele, tusalimie, kama kuna chambu mweza tuimiza nanyo, unafasi na wapea, kareguni sana. Praise God. Now, 
na bana jeshi ukatutoka tu ukatupatia kibaya kwa maana kwa mataifa mengine sifa na tukufu unatujali unatupenda kwa sababu ya sana basi tukete chini asante sana kwa kuja kwenu kila mmoja wetu ambaye kuja katika ile lango umepitia katika ile lango tutasema ni asante sana Psalms chapter 24 verse 7 and 8 Mwenyezi Mungu anasema kwamba lift up your heads all your gates Be lifted up all your ancient doors that the king of glory may come Who is this king of glory the Lord Jesus Christ He who holds the keys of David Mighty in battle Amen
eh kwa kuatamua viongozi ambao kwa miongoni mwetu Bwana siku sana eh nikipenda tu ili nisije nikafanya mistake kuna chacha ambao naweza nikataka kwa jina na naweza nikaelewa eh pateto microphone bana siku sana pateto microphone bas eh, kila dhebu ikaweza kuchitambulisha na ndani ya uh, wadogo wetu wachungaji wetu uh, kutoka kasarani asante sana kutoka Ibeneza asante sana kutoka Miki asante kutoka Rwai ebe asante sana na wengine wako barabarani waacha tupige na kofi ni wako barabarani wakuja sisi tunaje ni kwamba tunadhalilisha ni siku tunaelekea ni siku yenu ni siku yenu kwa sababu tumefungua hilo lango hilo wazi kupitia kwa Mwenyezi Mungu ambaye mfungue hilo lango likae wazi mkaweza kushuhudia hilo wazi Mwenyezi Mungu hapo mahali tukaweza kushiriki pamoja na tukaweza kupega mkate pamoja amen kwa hiyo basi peleka peana mikrofoni itoanzie kwa basi mchungaji mkae kwa tachitambulisha na kisha tusome mbele tuwapigie bana tuwapigie makofi tunaposimama ndiyo <laughs> lakini wamejituma na salamu nafikiri salamu mzipokea kutoka kwa pastor Wangai na pastor Jeru Kapata wako na sisi hata kama hawako hapa maana kwa wamejituma na hizo salamu mimi tumekuja tumewakilisha kuna mke wangu pata nafasi ya kusoma jina lake Ya. Bwana sifiwe. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Tuwasalimu katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Mimi napenda kusimama sana kwa madhabahu. Bwana sifiwe. Amen. Ah, uh, nimeokoka Kristo ni Bwana. Ah, uh, kama vile mmeambiwa na my husband and sister Mary Kamal. Tumetoka Kasarani. Ah, uh, <coughs> Usiku wakati tulikuwa na mambo ya mkutano. Kuna kitu Mungu alitupongeza na tukaanza kuomba. Tukaanza kuomba kuomba na hasa hata kuongeza tukaanza kuimba wimbo. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Amen. Na kwa hivyo mimi ningependa kwanza kuombe hiyo wimbo. Ukinipatia nafasi tuimbe tu hiyo wimbo si sote. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa sababu I don't know why we had to be given such a song na tuanze kuiba usiku kuiba 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 and of course kwa watu wa kiroho kupewa kitu ama kupewa wimbo saa saa tisa saa kumi za usiku na mnaanza kuiba kuimba there is a message that the Lord is bringing forth praise the Lord Amen. so I wouldn't take it for granted I was telling my husband to remind him and he is the one who was given the song then was telling me to show him how to, so, to sing it but he's the one who was given the song and he started singing and he could not connect well so I told him it goes this way so he started praise the Lord inasema ameliweka huru ameliweka huru ameliweka huru kwa nasipiwe ameliweka huru ameliweka huru kwa dami yake ameliweka huru kwa nasipiwe so and we started even discussing we started discussing and discussing and discussing sahiwe ya usiku na tumetoka kwa maombi na wimbo na tukaanza kusema hatuko matenga tena bwana asifiwe hatuko matenga tena tuko huru bwana asifiwe and the lord gave us the scripture of uh, uh, isaiah 59 verse 19 when fellow was after the israelites and wakati walifika sasa pale they did not know where to go or what to do and they can see this is the enemy coming Praise the Lord. Amen. But the Lord raised 
are standard against the enemy. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The church in Wehoko, the Lord has already raised a standard against the enemy. So don't see or dance like Bado Ukomateka. Nahujui tayari uko huru. Praise the Lord. Even in the world, in the in 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 the spirit and even physically. We have to do, say, and confess before God because He's the one who is telling us we are free. This is where he wanted to release that message from. Praise the Lord. Amen.
by the visitation of Gideon. Gideon was a fearful man and the angel of God found him threshing wheat. And the angel of God told him, uh, this you find in Judges, Judges 6, verse 10. And I said and, and I and I said unto you, I am the Lord your God. Fear not the gods of the Amorites, in whose land you dwell, but you have not obeyed my voice. One as if you will. And if you go to verse 12, it says, And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. Hallelujah. Amen. Then I go to verse 15. And he said unto him, O oh my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? the Lord had told him that God has chosen him to go and save the Israelites from the harassment they were receiving from the Amorites. Then Gideon says, and he said unto him, O oh my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And later on, we will come to find that the Lord told him that you go and save the Israelites. Behold, I am with you. Amen. Amen. I just want to say to us, please come with help. Do not belittle yourself. Musi jitarao. Wana asifiwe. Love. 
la el tantango M creo que está van a ver que está M cuando
and the one was born. And two families came from Morocco. That is Pastor Gota, who is in his wife, in his family, and Pastor Gurungu and his wife, who are not with us here today. And they are the brethren that came to stay ahead of the Lord at Crisco with Hoko. But the time we are coming here, we are many, many brothers, brother, uh, Pastor Matthew, was with us, and some other brethren who are not here, but they are still at Crisco Mwiki. Pana Sophia. So we used to come to look forward and evangelism in this place. But you know, we give God all the glory, and that is why you and me, we are here today. I want to share one scripture in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8 and verse 2. Oh, my sister, oh, my 
encourages, we are victorious. That encourages, he will provide everything. That encourages, we have the best sanctuary of the Lord. That encourages, we are the children of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Then Moses has continued, tell the children of Israel. The answer is no, Asha. In Mugia, I tell the president that the pastor next to you is an ambassador of the law. The sister next to you is an ambassador of the law. The person behind you is the ambassador of the law. The person in front of you is the ambassador of the law. So there is no
ya tunashukuru Mungu kwa kuwa mahali hapa this is my first time to be in Muhimu Muhogo Christian Church Machena naitwa hapa Rimbare nimeomboka Kristo ni bwana I did not come with my wife because uh, to remwaja hata kikao of the church tumekuta na pastor Mary na wa presbyter Isaac kwa hiyo alinituma ni wasalamie bwana asifiwe amen unapokea salamu amen yeah yesterday nilikuwa kisi my mother niliambia nikifika kanisa ni wasalamie nao tata ya mbia kai ndiye kesimu tegeti kwa my mother tukisi amen na mimi nimekuta kutoka huko na mfua na bwana atalete hiyo mfua pale amen ya tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya kanisa hii ni kanisa kubwa bwana anaendelea kuwatendea mema na vile mchokaji wetu choki amesema sisi ni mafarosi wa Yesu kutoka katika hiyo kuwa ufarosi mpaka tutetee ufalme wetu wa pingoni kwa hiyo hata na mimi nataka niwaimise kwa neno moja tu kwa sababu tuko na awasilia president hapa tunataka kumpatia nafasi nzuri i want to read from second corinthians uh, 6 first one and the two inatuimisa sisi ni akina nani we as co-workers together with him jesus christ was called us is reminding us we should not receive the grace of God in faith. Bwana asifiwe. Sisi kama watenda kazi pamoja na Yesu Kristo ambaye ametuita kwa mafarosi wake, ametuumiza kwamba tusipokee neema yake kwa pole. Hiyo neema ambayo ametupatia itufanyise kazi. Na hiyo mstari wa pili anasema in acceptable time I had you. In acceptable time I saved you. I helped you. Bwana ndiye anatusaidia. Wakati ambao unaofaa kama huu ni Mungu atatusaidia. Tusijitumise ama tusione kwamba eh hatuwezi. Ni yule ambaye ametuita atatotea nguvu. Bwana asifiwe. So tunapotokea hii neema ya Mungu tusijipokee in faith lakini tuweze kuifanyisha kazi na neema itatutosa eh mchungaji ametuonyesha hapa kwamba tuendelee kila wakati atatupatia eh amani na huyo Mungu atatupatia amani kila wakati sio wakati mmoja tu so when we receive the grace of god let us receive that grace of god embrace it and then work with it kwa hiyo neema ya Bwana itatusaidia wakati ambao inakubarika atatusaidia. Bwana asifiwe. Wakati wa kuokoka alitusikia na akatuokoa. Basi anasema tutatembea pamoja na yeye. In acceptable time I help you and I help you. Bwana atakusaidia wakati ambao umeokoka utaona kwamba utatembea peke yako. The grace of God is sufficient amona so bwana wabariki na wana watumise tutakaporudi kutoka kuelekea ndoi naomba nisalamu sana na wapelekee huko amen thank you bwana wabariki sana asante sana na good 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 tena tena asante sana eh tupige tupige pasta na kofi sijamani eh tupige na kofi kama tutapiga na kofi ninakuona ninakuona watu wapige na kofi
Pokea hii salamu zake katika jina la Yesu. Nami nimetaka kushukuru kwa kuwa mahali hapa ni kwa sababu ni muda mrefu. Ah nimekaa bila kukuja. Nimeshukuru kwa sababu ninaona kanisa iko smart. Nikiangalia hivyo naona uchukufu wa Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na sasa hata hii church tunaona imetengenezwa kama carpet. We give God all the glory. May the Lord bless you. Amen. I want to share the word from the just to pass the word of God from the book of Isaiah 43 from verse 18. I want to encourage you that God is doing a new thing. The Bible says uh, Isaiah 43 verse 18 uh, to 20 Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of the old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. You shall know, you shall, shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness, and leave us in the desert. The beasts of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because I will give water, waters in the wilderness, and leave us in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen one. These people have I found for myself. They shall shew forth my praise. Amen. And I want to encourage you as Chris Komoyoko that you forget the former things. Because God is doing a new thing. And you can able to discern in the spirit. You can tell in Kenya that the revival has broken. Amen. So do not wait for the revival. Just tell God to manifest revival through you. Amen. Because we are in a time that God is doing a new thing. And if you are not discerning, you will bypass. You know the, the, the Bible says that uh, that time when Israel was visited by God, there are those who do not discern the time of their visitation. But us as Kenyans, we do not want to be bypassed. We want to know
child. Because he is going to release the new anointing, the new fire of preaching the gospel. Amen. And you know, as he's doing a new thing, the Bible says, he's not willing to put a new wing, a new wine in the old one's kids. It is you to tell God, search me. Search me so that I can have that new one's kid, which will be able to contain the new wine he has already released. Amen. May the Lord bless you as you search Kwa 
mwakilishi hapa bwana asifiwe naitwa johnson mimi ni msaidizi wa mchungaji mpande wa crisco mtc bwana asifiwe tunaandamana na mke wangu na watoto wako pale nje pia atawasalimu Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Kugieni mkono pia mimi nikufurahie. Bwana asifiwe tena. Amen. Kwa majina naitwa Masi Kimedia, nimeokoka, Kristo ni Bwana. Mimi na Yesu ni marafiki. Nimefurahia pia mimi kukuja Kristo mwihoko. Although sio hapa, si siku ya kwanza kukuja hapa. Kuna siku tulikuwa tumekuja harusi ya Festus. Basi naona vile umeendelea. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Nampenda, Amen. So, please, ni pili sana kutu na mnae, niambie, stop there. Fanya tu na mnae. Fanya na mnae. Alamu tufanya, tupatia ishima prezita, tupatia, tuweka tu na mnae. Wacha ikai hapa. Alamu tuweka na mnae. Magizia wako. Hallelujah. Yes. Ya kutuanya kutuanya.
pour toutes les techniques à ma porte.
nifanyi kama hayo kaingine na sisi kama ni wote waliweza kuja kwa shirika huo na kwa hiyo hasa Matthew ndiye mchungaji chanzo naibu wake ni pasta muta na wake wao pia ni watu gani wa upande wa kina mama wakisaidiana kwa ajili ya kina sema wakisaidiana katika kina sema tena wakisaidiana katika huduma sema tena wakisaidiana katika huduma kosa ni katakia kusema ni mwanzo mwema na mwisho ulio bora zaidi amen tumekuwa na mwanzo hapo kwenu hata tukaka kanisa ikajengwa na ni kanisa maridadi tupigie bwana makofi
waanze huduma ili wafanye nini Uibe iende bene iti
kama bwana na mwokozi wa majira ya Dios tunakushukuru bwana Dios tunakushukuru Dios tunakushukuru Dios tupigie makofi tena Yako hapa, akisoma, 
na waita hao ama kisoma wanakuja na hii kumaliza ni budi time wala sijui
Asante sana. Fire, fire, fire. Let's go to the 
kupitia commitment plans watu wanajifunza mambo mengi sisi ya kufuata Yesu ili ufanyike mufupi wa watu amen sema kufuata Yesu kufuata Yesu tuwe wafupi wa watu tuwe wafupi wa watu na kuwaleta katika ufalme wa Mungu na kuwaleta katika ufalme wa Mungu kuna wengine walikuwa wanataka kufuata Yesu lakini Yesu hakuwa karibu kwa sababu alijua maisha yao walifikiri wanakutana na mwenye lakini Yesu aliwajua lakini hawa walikuwa wafupi na wamesoea maisha ya ufufi aliwaambia mnifua sasa mtafuata amtafua samaki mtakuwa wafufi wa watu sema tuwe wafufi wa watu tuwe wafufi wa watu sema tena tuwe wavuvi wa watu sema tena tuwe wavuvi wa watu wapi hapa hapo sema tuwe wavuvi wa watu hapa hapo tujie pamoja kwa utakatifu tuwe wavuvi wa watu hapa hapo si tuseme kwa sauti tuwe wavuvi wa watu hapa hapo na kila mahali na kila mahali kurudia mara tano tuwe wavuvi wa hapo wa watu hapa mihoko na kila mahali tuwe wavuvi wa watu hapa mihoko na kila mahali tuwe wavuvi wa watu hapa mihoko na kila mahali tuwe wavuvi wa watu hapa mihoko na kila mahali tuwe wavuvi wa watu hapa mihoko na kila mahali Amen. Kuna wakati mtume alinituma kule Dubai. Akaniambia kuna watu wanataka kurudiuka na kanisa na wanauliza kama Kristo inaweza kuafunika ama kuwa ya security huko wakiwa Dubai sema wote wetu Dubai wote wetu Dubai mtume akaniambia nitakutuma huko kwa sababu kwa ukifuata umefunzwa kuwa mkuvi wa watu na wale wanataka wale na mtu ambaye anaweza kukua watu kuja kwa Yesu akaniambia zile commitment loti ambazo umesoma sinatosha na pia tena experience yako katika huduma sema experience katika huduma experience katika huduma kwa sababu unajua samaki kwa mahali huwezi kushika kwa mikono lazima uwe na apaleta za kusaidia kwa hivyo wokovu wako roho mtakatifu anakusaidia kuwa mfupi wa watu sema mfupi wa watu mfupi wa watu kwa nilipa nafasi hiyo nikawa huko Dubai wiki mbili na baada ya wiki hizo mbili wakasema tumebebana kinisko kama kabisa nitafunika ushirika wetu hapa Dubai na kanisa hili tuwe nini 
Mahubi Mawah. Mahubi Mawah. Kwa hiyo wale ambao wamejifunza commitment notes na wana experience hiyo ya wakofu wanaweza kuwa wafupi wa watu na Mungu anataka sote tuwe wafupi wa sio kufuata bali kuwa tunafuata na tumekuwa wafupi wa watu ajenda kubwa ni kufuata tuwe wafupi wa watu ndio hiyo na saba ya tuwe wakubwa wa watu 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 ajenda kubwa ni nini tuwe wakubwa wa watu Huduma yetu ni nini? Tuwe wakubwa wa watu. Asante. Wataitwa wale ambao wanafaulu na ili tuwapokee wakijua wanakuwa watu wa Allah. Amen. Asikita jina lako kija kwa kasi. Sasa Okay, say, man, yeah. 
kumana kuna hiyo akalika kutoka kipindi ulichokuwa unaongezea katika kurendi nyingine kwa hivyo imba kwa imani imba kama umemaanisha imba kama umejua maisha yako umebadilishwa chapter yako kuna sawako dispensation yako imebadilishwa imba kwa na imani imba kichwa Yesu siku ya leo ni siku yako ukombozi maisha yako kubadilishwa niwe kiume kita katika ya kirona katika ya kimila takike shara katika matendo yango yote
So kindly, we would request you to come on with the Kategorian of wherever you can get this video carpet, so that what you pass ma viongozi wana kukuja hapo wapate nafasi ya kuhudumia amen ya kwa hivyo eh haleluya baada tunapokea kama wapendwa kama semazi wa kike katika mafunzo katika jina la bamba na la mwana na la roho yes wasaidie kuanzia siku hii ya leo. Yes. Maisha yao yawe tofauti. Yes. Kuhudumia wengine. Yes. Wadogo na wakubwa kwa jumla. Yes. Mahali popote. Yes. Kwa sababu sote tumefanyika wakufi wa watu. Yes. Na kuleta watu wengi kanisani. Yes. Injana na wale wote na baba na 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 mustari wa nane hadi 12 eh vipyo hivyo mashemanzi nao wawe watu wanaostahili heshima wasiwe wenye kauli mbili au wenye kujifurahisha kwa mvinyo wala wanao tamani faida isiyo halali inawapasa ku, ku, ku kushikamana sana na ile siri ya imani ya dhamiri safi ni lazima wapimwe kwanza kisha kama hakuna neno dhidi yao basi na waruhusiwe urumu kama mashemanzi sasa kuna moja hivyo 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 wake zao wawe wanawake wanaostahili heshima wasio washi wasigazi washingaziaji bali wawe na kiasi na wa waaminifu katika kila jambo sura ya 12 ya mwisho heshi hemashi shemasi samahani shemasi awe mume wa mke mmoja na inapata pasa awe kusimamia watoto wake na watu wa nyumbani mwa mwake vyema Bwana asifiwe Amen Hiyo ni summarize kutoka mstari wa kwanza mlango huo mpaka mahali tumeishia hata kuobea wazee wa kanisa wa kigaji kisama uwezo kama mwaminifu kanisani kama wewe uhalifu nyumbani na kama hauna msimamo nyumbani charity begins at home si ndio kurudia zote charity begins at home sema tena charity begins at home kuaminika kuaminika kuanzia nyumbani Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Kwa hivyo na jua wakati ambao mmekuwa mkiruzika na kazi wanawajua ushuhuda wenu ndio wameamua lazima mupewe na nafasi ya kuhudumu. Bwana asifiwe. Na tujetaka kuona kina mama wenu wakija kanisa. Kwa sababu mmewatafuta wewe. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Mmewatafuta kila mara. Na ili ufalme wa Mungu ufanyike 
na jamii zenu pia msiwaache nyuma pia wamvue Yesu kama bwana na mwokozi wa maisha ya tunawaombea hawa kama vile tulitangulia wawe katika nafasi hiyo ya kuhudumu kama matemansi wa kitu katika jina la Yesu amen wa wa pape mafuta kama amekuwa kwa wote wa wote I am the Lord that He
tamani kazi ya ya uangalizi atamani kazi nzuri basi mempasa mwangalizi ma, awe mtu asiye na lawama mume mke mmoja mwenye kiasi anayejitawala anayeji anayeheshimika mkarimu ajoe kufundisha asiwe mlevi wala wala mkali bali awe mpole asiwe mgomvi wala mpenda fedha lazima aweze kuisimamia nyumba yake mwenyewe mzuri na kuhakikisha kwamba watoto wake wanamtii na kuwa na heshima kwa kila njia kwa maana kama mtu hajui jinsi ya kuji, kuji kusimamia nyumba yake mwenyewe atawezaje kuangalia kanisa na Mungu asiwe mtu alie alie okokani asiwe mtu aliyeokoka karibu asije akavunja na kuangukia mwenye hukumu ile ile ya ibilisi inampasa pia awe na sifa njema kwa watu walio nje ili asije akalaumiwa akalaumiwa na kuanguka kwenye mtego wa ibilisi sasa nani vivyo hivyo mashabazi nao okay haya okay yenu ndio kitu kizuri sana Asante. Tuanzie mstari wa kwanza. Eh tukiwa tumetenga masikio yetu. Hili ni neno la kuaminiwa kwamba mtu akitamani kazi ya uangalizi atamani kazi nzuri. Basi mempasa mwangalizi au mtu asiye na lawama, mume wa mke mmoja mwenye kiasi anayejitawala anayejishi anayeheshimika mkarimu ajoe kufundisha asiwe mlevi wala mkali bali awe mpole asiwe mgomvi wala mpenda fedha lakini aweze kuimamia kuisimamia nyumba yake mwenye mwenyewe vizuri na kuhakikisha kwamba watoto wake wanamtii na kuwa na heshima kwa kila njia kwa maana kama mtu hajui jinsi ya kuisimamia nyumba yake mwenyewe atawezaje kuangalia kanisa na Mungu asiwe mtu aliyeokoka karibu asije akajivuna na kuangukia kwenye hukumu ile ile ya ibilisi inampasa pia awe na sifa njema kwa watu walio nje ili asije akalaumiwa na kuanguka kwenye mtego wa ibilisi. Haleluya. Amen. Hiyo ni sana nzuri kwa wazee. Ili wawe wana kiasi kwa kila jambo katika jamii, maisha, biashara kama anafanya biashara kwa wote wale wana msuluhu bwana sifiwe na hii ufalme wa Mungu uweze kuelewa kwa sababu tunaitwa kandu na kuwa viongozi tuwe wa kuvi wa watu turudie zote kabisa warudie mara tano kwa kando na kuwa viongozi tu wa kuvivi wa watu kama tuwe viongozi tu wa kuvivi wa watu kama tuwe viongozi tu wa kuvivi wa watu kama tuwe viongozi tu wa kuvivi wa watu kwa na viongozi tu wa wavuvi wa watu. Ya tuwe mfano kwa wazote. Watoto wake, wanaishi, watu 
inside. That means whatever you do, you do it well in the testimony. Not only in the church, but also at the place where you are in the hope in your occupation. What you are now doing? Why do you to tower poker? Na kuapa hiyo na fazi Na then you prove yourself Kama kile maandiko ya nisema Katika jina la baba Na la mwana Na la mwana mkakati Mkaka ya mafuta Amen, amen bossi Pagu kwa heshima Amen, amen Buka kwa mkibini Tupeze na tunapoimba tuimbe kwa imani kama kile kwangu ambacho tumekuwa hapo awali ni kiwango cha cha huko tunapotisha kwa kingine kwa hiyo tumetoka katika hicho kiwango tumegraduate mwaka wa kingine cha Deacon in training eh eh elder in training na eh elder in sitting kwa hiyo tuimbe wimbo tukiamini kuwa let the anointing of Christ fall upon me and break me from whatever kind. It is a poor thing to do. It is a poor thing to do. It is a poor thing to do. I am the Lord that He led me and I am the Lord
hiyo sahihi inshawekwa kaweza kurudishwa iwe sasa ni cheti cheti bwana siwe sana kwa hivyo e, tuna jesita yangura madege na unajua wakati unapokuja hapa wale ambao wako hapa ndani e, wakati wenye lecturer wetu mkuu pc anaposhika hiyo anapatia hicho cheti wewe basi pia unaoneshana mwenye umesoma ya kwamba unashika kando na inashika kando inapigwa pili inapigwa picha bwana siwe sana mwana ni aongo sho Omani ya sawi mwe? Na hiyo gini? Bas, wengo chesita nyangura Nekwa mimi upenda wala kuzwa liyo na mbio Praise the Lord Na nashukura wa dada Wa dada tunafanya kazi na wana kwa mbio sana Mwana kwa mejua Bila tunapelekana Tunapelekana katika hiyo Hili darasa na kuu Na kuenda kwa kasi Kwa hivyo chesita nyangura madenge Anapotumpigia makofi na inasemekana mkae na mkae hii kwa kwenye kamera aweza kuwana mzuri unapopokeswa basi unafana na gani ikaweza kuwanekana vyema na unapoipokea isha pika picha unasonga unaenda zako eme tapigia makofi eme na ufrayo these guys wamesoma they were burning out the midnight oil eme nikuna mero tigendo mamio pia mero tigendo asonga maka sato pigia makofi Nashukuru mwenyezi mungu maana ya bapa mefika Anaweza na natuchani Inapo pikwa picha Unajipa shukuli You do what? Unajemeza mungu Bala suwe sana Amen Nashukuru mwenyezi mungu Basi kuna purity Wanyaga Akaweza kupokezwa pia Purity wanyaga Bio Ukipitwa Asiye na lake Eh? Unasema kanati kwa kiswa hivyo? Asante sana Kwa hivyo Uyu mshana wake, uyu siyo beauty menyewe, uyu mshana wake We don't do here doctoring or property Tunafanya mtuzirizo wazi Kwa hivyo kamera wazi utahika kwa hapo And beauty siye And me, tupigia makofi Yes, kuna Thomas Kamulunze Hawa na community medical class Hawa na pokezwa Yes, Thomas Kamulunze Niwambia nini wawili siri zeni Kutatuambia kwa nini Muna kana na sisi You are supposed to be in the camp Tupigia makofi Mungu kuretu Anelea kuma Asante sana Kuna fideli singuli Na Jamini Hati jana wetu Siyo wote Kuna ingine wa kumashule Kwa hivu Siyo kijana wote Kwa hivu Kwa hivu Kuna ingine wa Especially Boarding schools High schools Wako hivu Kwa hivu Siyo wote About to go na hapa Hei Anito na Fideli singuli Tupigia makofi Sante sana You have been empowered What is your son? You have been empowered to do all the pertains to the studies you have undertaken Amen Amen Asante sana Kuna kale kwa sili Kale kwa sili Kale kwa sili Kale kwa sili Will you take on behalf of your brother? Yeah Uli bradake anetua Yes, so Panguze na tuwaza kidogo ni usione kano Kwa ita hapa Nataka picha mwazo na nekana You are smartly dressed Tupigia makofi Amen Asante sana, asante sana Sasa tunibaliza kiwango cha commitment class Tuuje katika kiwango cha Ka cha The Connects in Training Sister Amina Kinaitore Kirima Tupigia makofi Udana wana kimia Akuja kwa 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 na kimia kwa 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 mpita chua Na mamia ni mboje Akene miyata tukutane uko mbele Tupigia makofi Anapo kumuja Asante sana Yes We thank God for that She's done herself proud She's done her family proud Amen Tupigia makofi tena Anapo kipigia smile Anapo kipigia smile jamene Hata kama yukua uke Kuna Rosalind Dari Rosalind Dari, my friend Ule anakoka kwa Preza and Worship Team Hapa ni Mnoma Sema Mnoma sana She's a Mnoma sister Na tupeleka chupa kumasema tuko heaven Tupia makofi alapo endelea Rosalind Dari, kuja huko Rosalind Hei, kuna kushoto kabalai Kulekchera na kupakia kwanza Anakulekchera kwa VC, hiyo huyo Kuna tupia makofi Amen, asante sana, asante sana, asante sana 
So remember, there is one signature that has not been done, so uh, don't fly with it. Kuna jesinta nyamura madenge, ametoka kile kwa wakilina akakuja, nikonez in training. Uyo pia dana nikonez in training, amine nikonez in training sister jesinta nyamura madenge. Nikonez in training. Tupike kwa kofi. Uyo kwa 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 kwa
Elda si wa kijiji na pini Elda wa Nisa Amen Charles Opeyo Kemba Unana kuna mema sektai Unikuwa sektai first mema wa kitai tena We needed you with a tie A smart man To pick up a coffee Yes, you got your color suit You have to pay in a finish a tie Amen Sante sana, sante sana So, Seba Sante sana Who will last but not least? Sasa will end the last Who will end the last but not least? Least Last Less lost lost John Kiziji Kitai Hiyo uga inakupanda 
Aha, sasa ukiona kwa kitu mahali pa, ma, nimeenda. Now, what you are talking about is the biblical way or the biblical way of overcoming fear. Manasha sana. In your better life, in business, in marriage, personal life, a couple's life, children. Unaweza kupata kisi sawa sawa kwa sababu pia wote kusu watoto wetu na wajui. Hata wale shule mtoto wako atasoma namna gani? Kama shule kutoka wapi? Atafuzu mtihani, atafanya nini? Kilichoko hapa ni kwamba wewe na mimi tuchukue hiyo nafasi ya kuchukua ina kala moja kwa elfu moja na elfu moja tusiangalie gharama yake jameni. Angalia umuhimu wa maandiko. Angalia umuhimu wa kile kilichoko katika ina kala katika hiki kitabu. Bwana sifa sana. Buying a vehicle is cheap. But maintenance of a vehicle is very expensive. True or false? You pay them along. Na juu na inisha gari, bila inisha gari, kwa hivyo na juu agaranga kumua gari ni chache, lakini ya kuituza, ya kuituza hivyo. What is your son? So, let us symbolically or figurative speech speaking, sepa kwa mba, kumua hivyo kitabu ni gara machache, lakini matumizi yake ama elimu yake itakuwa ya kusahidia sana hata siku za usoni wetu wanaweza kupata na wanaweza kusoma tutoke hapa my talk to the gate of heaven my prayers at the gate of heaven what heaven looks like the necessary necessity for preparation and how to prepare for heaven how to live and serve in the light of eternity the fears of my visit to Israel kaiote ya menekiliwa hapa ya kwamba experience ya mchungaji ya presta alipokuwa kaina israeli ilikuwa nikai mwana sifu sana na alipopikika katika ingine lango lango la nini lango la binguni ni kipi ambacho alikuta na chopo basi yote ya usikane kitabo ameinakili hapa wewe na mimi kuna uhidi there is a lot of prosperity and wealth in terms of knowledge plot it here
natupa gogo kikambani kikambani amen amen kwa hivyo asalimu kisha tutafungia kwa Bwana asifiwe asifiwe tena amen mpatia mkaribu sana salimu ndio ni salimu na mikoa kwa sababu Praise the Lord Bwana asifiwe Bwana salimu ajina la Yesu mmeofoka mpenda Bwana kwa jina linaloitwa Jesus tu na ni apologies tu nimekuja kama ndio tumechelewa kidogo kwa sana faida kwa sisi but tumefika kama tumechelewa na tunashukuru kwa yale ilikuwa inatendea na tuna tuna tunapatia Mungu tukufu kwa yale tunaendelea kwa hivyo mbarikiwe tamkii malizia amen we thank God for this opportunity as my wife has said apology to me kuja tumechelewa but our heart was here my best Matthew is a good friend and a good neighbor so whatever we had to do we had to come as a babu a good neighbor is always a good neighbor amen but we thank God to be back in my home has been a while in CCC what we are doing what we are doing here so we thank God for to be here and witness the doings of the Lord amen so the Lord is wasi tusimame ndio tufunge kwa maombi tuambie Mungu ni asanti na yale yametokelea siku ya leo ninajua tutemelea kwa jina kuu wale waliombewa fanya kazi na wale waliombewa kujoin to fellowship na sisi na tuguni sana Unajua Mungu anatumia ndio hii neno hii eneo hii ikiwe na na gospel ya Yesu Kristo ndio kwa hivyo tunataka kukwambia Mungu ni asanti kwa siku ya leo na yale ya mbele yetu baada kama district nzima imekuwa represented hapa tunaambia Mungu ni asanti kwa mbali huu amefikisha Father we are grateful we give you praise for this day that you allowed us to come together as a family of district 1 We are thankful for this opportunity to be together and to experience your presence and experience your goodness and your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, because you never leave us nor forsake us. And that is why we know we are established in a sure foundation. On Christ, the solid rock, we stand. And it is built on that cornerstone and the apostles' doctrine that we continue to receive and building us up to become ministers of the gospel even those who have come and joined us in the commitment for us to have been prayed for as workers we are thankful because we know today the heavens is open for them the heaven is open for the church of mehoko even for the next level anointing for the next level visitation of god and we thank you again because we have come to witness that you are on course and you are working even to establish them in this region and we know as we stand here the territorial powers are shaken the territorial powers are given a warning that yet again the move of revival the of the fire of god and grace of god and the power of god has come again in a new way in this place a renewal has already been united in the realm of the spirit and we thank you for everything that has happened because it's already established in heaven and here on earth it will manifest even through your blessings and your grace over this work we pray that they're going to be a blessing to the people who live around this area they're going to be the light around this area and they're going to be the soul of the earth even for the kingdom of god in this area you have placed them so we bless them every one of those who come here all of those who are going to join them father we thank you because we know the work that is going to be done here is for the kingdom of god and it's going to establish that order that you have desired may you be with them may you continue to establish them and strengthen them in their call for your glory and for your honor in jesus name we pray amen, amen and amen god bless you guys na na kwa tunamkutano kwa makanisa yote ino fe but one day lakini kuna wale walikuwa wakijadiliana ikazua ita kenuthia of 
the media will give us a summary of what will be covered in that meeting. Who will come? The media. Mekua, Meketi Chini Mikongo Zina Sinaleta Nenik Dog Misuri Naza Katalia Katalia. In short, Kuna Sema Musosi. Sema Musosi. Shakura. Si Shakura. Shakura. Shakura Iko. Iko to the Karibisha, the Nageshi, Ataombia Shakura. Na your department in the Panga, my friend. By what you said, also, wherever we are seated, you be at peace. Be at peace with your stomach, your head, and everything. The coordination is there. you too.